Hello everyone and welcome back. It's your girl Marquita with Marquita LV Luxury. On today, I am actually in my closet. I am going to go over my Louis Vuitton handbags, my Fendi handbags, and also my Gucci handbags in my collection. But I am going to discuss the handbags that I actually do not use and why. But before we get started, please check out my past videos, like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend how much fun we have over here. Don't forget to visit your girl on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. Now that we have that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine or some tea and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Okay, so guys, before we get started, of course, we have to go over the handbag of the day. And I honestly went for my on the go tote GM. I told you guys I am trying to use some of the handbags that I hardly reach for. And I usually wear this when I'm doing, you know, going to any type of meetings, basically the boss up way. But I wanted to see how it looked with my outfit today and it turned out pretty good, okay? I'm trying this thing here. But I didn't care it as a tote. I wanted to do something different. I used the longer straps that I usually hide on the inside of the handbag. And this was the look, okay? Sporty outfit and on the go tote GM. And I feel like, hey, it was still cute. It wasn't the best because like I said, I love this as a boss bag. Very, very large and it wasn't heavy. Um, I try to reduce some of the items that I do carry inside. I don't use an organizer, you know, just to eliminate some of the weight. But this was the handbag of the day. And so I'm trying to get used to using her a lot more. And for some reason, I have just been into larger handbags lately. So this is the handbag of the day. Love having her in my collection. So guys, let's get started because this is going to be a lengthy video. On today, guys, I am going to speak on four of the luxury collections that I have in my collection. Louis Vuitton, Fendi, Gucci, and also YSL. I'm going to start with Gucci because I only have two handbags from this luxury company. The first handbag I'm going to speak on is this beautiful Gucci crossbody. And of course, I'm not a huge, huge fan of Gucci. So I don't know the name. I'm pretty sure someone in the comments will help me out. But this was my first purchase from Gucci. I purchased this, I believe, four or five years ago. It has now been sitting in my collection. I used it about two years ago just for a picture. But once I purchased this, I knew I would fall in love because it honestly holds all of my daily essentials. And it's just absolutely cute as a crossbody. Of course, as you guys can see, it's not detachable and it's not adjustable, but I love the length of this crossbody and it honestly goes with my outfit today. So I am going to keep that in mind. Okay, I also purchased these beautiful flat mules from Gucci. And so this, like I said, this could have been a look. So I will keep that in mind. So this is my first handbag, like I said, from Gucci. I love having it in my collection. I just don't reach for it. And the reason I don't reach for it is because I have other smaller crossbodies that I love and adore just a bit more. I hate that it sits like it does, but it does. And for some reason, I just can't sell it. I can't get rid of it. So this is my first handbag I want to speak on from Gucci that I don't use. And I am going to just reach in my beautiful shelf and grab this beauty, which is the Gucci Atashe handbag. I have spoke on this handbag quite a few times. And so I'm going to take her down and we are going to talk a little bit about her. Okay, the beautiful Gucci Atashe handbag. Like I said, I speak on this handbag a lot. This is another handbag that I honestly have worn once. I've been having this in my collection now almost, what, not even, no, it haven't been a year. 
it's been about seven or eight months okay um but i haven't used it but once and that really bothers me and kills me because i actually have outfits to wear this beautiful handbag but i honestly reach for other handbags before reaching for this i love that it can be carried as a tote this handbag is very creative i absolutely love it it also comes in leather as well but i went of course for the canvas handbag i love the details i love the opening latch that they have here they use a g and you honestly can just get it together and you can just latch it here okay which converts it into like a little hobo bag inside i do preserve the straps just to keep them you know as new as possible it does come with two straps a navy blue leather strap that's of course detachable and also adjustable and the famous guitar strap and i'm not sure what the real name is guys but i call it the guitar strap because i'm so used to lv just placing straps like this on all of their handbags so it does come with the signature colors it does come um, with the guitar strap adjustable and detachable as well so i thought that was a plus having the two straps but i usually use the blue which was the first time that i wore it i haven't even used a guitar strap yet okay but i am going to get around to it the only reason i haven't used this beauty is because i just reach for other bags you know it wasn't a favorite handbag for long you know other handbags were released and it just replaced it so I am sorry, but again, this is another handbag that I don't see myself ever selling because I feel like this summer, I'm going to bring her out with my blue jeans and she's going to get some sunshine. So I only have two handbags from Gucci and so I am going to move on to Fendi because I only have two from Fendi as well. So let's keep going. Okay, so let me get my Fendi handbags out. As you guys can see, I do have them mixed up with my Louis Vuitton collection. And so these are my two handbags, the Fendi Montressor handbag, and then also the beautiful Fendi Sunshine Tote in size medium. So I am going to take both of these handbags down so we can speak on them. Isn't she beautiful? Just sitting here. I love her. Okay, the beautiful... Fendi Montressor handbag. I've been having this in my collection now for years. I absolutely adore and love having this in my collection. Very, very beautiful, guys. But honestly, I've only used her twice. Yes, that's very bad. I actually saw this. I forgot what celebrity had this handbag on, but and once I saw it, I had to have it in my collection. Went into the Fendi boutique, purchased it, and wore it twice and it's been sick now for like three years yes i feel bad but hey guys this is why i'm preaching to you guys <laughs> don't purchase handbags you're not going to use i saw this thought it was cute and that what that's where the mistake started just because it's cute doesn't mean we have to go and purchase so hey i'm just trying to help i do have it stuffed okay so here's the inside, smooth microfiber material. And guys, it holds a lot. I do have a video on this as well. Um, like I said, when I did carry it, it was just a brunch day with my husband. I enjoy carrying her and she does come with a longer strap. I don't even know where the strap is, but I love the drawstring closure. I love the gold hardware and I love this beauty as a tote. But again, this is a handbag I don't use. That's the topic of the video, guys. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I don't use her. Hopefully in the summertime. I'm aiming for the summertime, okay? The next handbag, let me step back. I told you guys the beautiful Fendi Sunshine Tote. You guys know this is a boss handbag. So this is strictly for meetings. Or if I need a larger handbag, you know, this looks so good with all black, brown as well, guys. Basically, you can just wear this with anything and slap, and slap on some heels and you'll be the bomb, okay? Fendi Sunshine Tote is everything. But let me just be honest, 
I've only used her, I would say about three or four times. So this is another handbag that I don't use. So I do feel guilty. And also I still have the tag on it, the price tag on here. So that lets you know I hardly even use the handbag. It does come with a strap, a shoulder strap as well. I prefer using it as a tote. Here is the inside basically brand new handbag but nope she's not for sale because i absolutely love carrying her as a tote and i love looking at this handbag so this is another handbag that's very gorgeous i have in my collection that i don't use the hardware of course still have the plastic on but hey she's not going anywhere She's just too beautiful, okay? So, as you guys can see, that's four handbags that I just showed you that I purchased because they were cute. I don't use them because I have other handbags in my collection that I actually reach for first. And sometimes, they're basically overlooked. That's the problem with having over 90 handbags in your collection. I have to do better. So, this is my Fendi collection. Yes, I actually do want more Fendi handbags. I do love Fendi. Right now, you guys know um, Louis Vuitton just has my heart. But they're just not releasing heat for me to go and purchase. So, this is my Fendi collection. Let's move on to my YSL. Okay, so let's get into this beautiful collection here. This is the beautiful YSL Sunshine Handbag. The College Handbag. The beautiful Lulu. The YSL clutch and the beautiful denim puffer and the suede puffer and the envelope handbag so I am going to need my ladder for these handbags up here but let's go one by one okay the YSL sunshine absolutely love classy handbag date night Please be very careful. I do find myself having to baby this handbag, but I love having her in my collection. My only and first all black handbag. I love the hardware. I would say go and purchase. The straps, of course, as you guys can see, they are not detachable. They are adjustable if you do want them to go over your shoulder or as a crossbody. So you can carry this as a tote crossbody and over the shoulder like i said very classy handbag i do recommend 10 out of 10 handbag i love that i went with the all black but they do have other colors as well okay so i went over the sunshine tote here she is again very beautiful back pocket just in case you guys want me to go over a little detail this is as a tote and like i said if you want to convert guys you just adjust the length of the straps and i have it all tangled here let me get it together for you guys okay so here it is here you just extend the length of the chain i told you over the shoulder or as a crossbody magnetic closure button here front pocket inside as well plenty different compartments inside i love ysl magnetic closure guys they are just so strong i love it okay so the handbag that i don't use and i haven't used yet is the ysl college handbag this is i believe a size medium or a size no this is a size small again i don't know guys i don't want to tell you a lie but it's a smaller handbag and the reason that i don't carry the ysl college handbag is because i wanted a bigger handbag when she showed me both of the handbags she didn't have a larger in black and i wanted a black she had larger in other colors but I don't know why I just didn't walk away. I just felt like I had to leave with this handbag, which again, another mistake, guys. So the YSL College handbag have been sitting for now two years. I haven't used her yet. I fell in love with the top handle. This is a very classy handbag, just like the YSL Sunset handbag as well. It's also a boss handbag, but again, should have been a bigger handbag in my collection, of course. So, back pocket, of course, black and gold. 
I have the chain strap inside. As you guys can see, I still have the plastic on the zipper, back compartment with a side card holder. The mid compartment is secured with a zipper, and then you have this front compartment here. I did a video comparing it also to the Passy handbag and also the Sunset. Comparing it to the Passy handbag and a detachable strap. It's not adjustable, and so you just attach the strap here. This is so much going on. So let me... opposite side and here it is and so if you don't want to carry it as a tote you can carry it as a crossbody or over the shoulder and you know what I just showed you guys this handbag and I just fell in love with this handbag that's that's the problem I just have too many handbags that's it because now I want to wear this handbag I am so ugh, I'm mad at myself it's not tall girl friendly. I can tell you that because the strap isn't adjustable. But now I want to wear the handbag. So beautiful. So cute. But we're going over handbags I don't use. And this is one that I don't use. No reason. It's not because of it. it's bad. I don't like it. It's just because I actually wanted it in a larger size. That's it. Okay. YSL polished tote. And I still have the clutch the acrylic stand from amazon i'll leave the link guys the display stand this is the ysl clutch um haven't used i just reached for other date night handbags okay uh very beautiful i wanted it so bad and once i purchased she's just been sitting here i don't use this is the wristlet that comes with it you also can convert this i do have a video how you can convert this also into a crossbody and an evening over the shoulder handbag. But of course, very cute. I love having it in my collection. She just, she just haven't been used. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't even know why I titled the video this because I have so many that I don't use in my collection. So guys, beautiful clutch. I would recommend it as well. I also recommend the YSL College handbag all of these handbags, guys, I highly recommend from YSL. I love YSL. The quality is amazing. Very good price, but they are starting to go up on their prices, too. So, guys, we need to watch out for that. The next is the YSL Lulu. This is a size medium. I've worn this, I believe, twice. I feel I should have purchased a smaller size, okay? So, this is the medium. Um... And I wish I would have went for another color as well. Because can you see what's happening? I have this beautiful cream color. But I also have the Fendi Sunshine Tote in that beautiful cream color as well. So it just depends on what I'm wearing. I do consider them both boss bags. Which gives me an issue. It makes it so hard for me to pick which bag to use. And so you can carry this as a tote as well. Or you can carry it over the shoulder. To me, as a crossbody, this is just too big. I wouldn't use this as a crossbody. I would use it as a tote or over the shoulder. Okay? Very cute. Brand new. Basically, just sitting in my collection. Still sub. So, this is another handbag from YSL that's in my collection that I don't use. Next handbag, you guys know I use this handbag. This is my favorite, one of my favorite YSL handbags after the Ikari Maxi Tote. This is the beautiful vintage YSL denim puffer. This is the larger size. I told you guys before, it does come in a smaller size, but this bag is so sexy. I just love everything about it, okay? I just can't brag on it enough. So I'm not even know, I don't even know why I'm showing you guys because this is the handbag that I use. We are speaking on handbags in my collection that I don't use. So this is the YSL Dental Puffer. I do use this handbag and she's not going anywhere. So let me put her back up before you guys try to ask me, can you buy her? And the answer is no. <laughs> I'm joking guys, but I'm not joking about you not buying her. Okay, so now I'm going to get Miss Lisa the ladder and we're going to go to the top row because those two handbags I don't use at all. Let's go.
okay, so I had to bring them down a couple of notches. And here they are. This is the beautiful YSL Suede Lulu handbag. I've used her one time. I've been having this in my collection now, I believe, two years. I actually have a pair of boots to match. I posted this on Instagram. And yes, she's been out one time. And that's it. Another handbag I thought was cute. I am I'm in Houston, Texas, okay? It's always hot. Even in the winter, 60 degrees is cold for us. And so <laughs> I just haven't reached out for her at all. Very beautiful. But again, guys, you make the handbag. You can wear the handbag whenever you want. I just made an excuse on why I don't use her. But again, I can use her whenever I like. So here is the beautiful YSL Suede Lulu handbag. I actually would love to have a Lulu this size. Do you see what I mean? I have the larger Lulu in a size medium. I want it in this small, um, a small handbag just like this, okay? Again, you can carry this as a crossbody. You can carry it as a tote. You can carry it over the shoulder, but she's very beautiful. I fell in love, and for some reason, I just feel like she's going to be with me forever. Just can't see myself departing from her, okay? Very gorgeous. The next handbag is YSL envelope handbag, okay? Why did I do it? Yeah, similar in color, but oh well. Here it is. I haven't used this handbag yet. It's still in my collection. Very beautiful, very classy. A 10. There's nothing wrong with this handbag. Just haven't had the chance to use her yet. Again, all of YFL, this is basically like the signature for them and their strap. I just haven't got around to using her yet. I said I was gonna make some changes in 2023. But as of right now, she's still sitting patiently waiting for her turn. I absolutely love the color. The inside is one compartment, a back zipper, and also a back pocket, a very structured handbag. I love it. I do consider this a very classy, bossy handbag. And like I said, it's a 10. I just haven't reached for her yet. And like I said, I am going to try to change. So guys, that is honestly what no, my YSL Ikari. How can I forget her? Here she is. You guys already know how I feel about the YSL Ikari tote. No need to go into any description on this handbag. I speak on her a lot. I don't even know why I'm talking about her because this is supposed to be handbags that I don't use. So. I just want to show her off again. Guys, go and purchase before the price increase goes up, okay? This is the beautiful YSL Ikari. Is it? Yes, I'm saying it correctly. The Ikari tote, okay? So let me put her back. <laughs> the next collection, I say the best for last, in my opinion, which is Louis Vuitton. I am going to go over just a few handbags that I don't use. I am honestly going to tell you why I don't use these handbags. And then, guys, that'll wrap up this long, long video, okay? Okay, this is, like, my sitting area. And sometimes I use this as a stepping stool. But I am going to turn the camera around like I have it now because it would be easier for me to discuss the handbags. But this is one of the beautiful handbags that I don't use. This is the beautiful Nano Noe. Brand new. Um, I just don't use her. I'm just hoping that my daughter would tell me, hey, mommy, I like Louis Vuitton now. And I want to try the handbag. But as of right now, she doesn't seem like she's going to go that way. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go up first and speak on a few of the speedies in my collection that I don't use. Okay, let me hop up. Okay, of course, you guys know this is a Speedy 20. I use her, so I'm going to put her to the side. This is the Speedy 25. You guys know I had issues um, with this handbag. I still don't know if I am going to take her in for repair or not or just sell her because my sister want her as is. So this is a handbag I don't use. This is another handbag I don't use only because I'm not a big fan of the Azure print. I told you guys already. 
Yes, I use this beauty here. This is Speedy 25 Bandolier. Guys, Damier, uh, Damier Bean Prince. Excuse me. This is the Damier of Bean Print. I do use this handbag. And my exclusive Speedies. And these handbags, I don't use at all. I've used this Speedy once. This is the beautiful um, Speedy 25 Bandolier from the Wild at Heart Collection. No, I've used her twice. This beautiful handbag, Speedy 25 Bandolier, the bicolor. I haven't used her at all, but I just love this print so much. And she's just sitting here, guys. There really isn't a reason that I haven't used most of these handbags. It's just that I have my favorites in my collection and I constantly keep reaching for them. Okay, so this is the Speedy 25 and I haven't used her yet, okay? And guys, as you can see, do you see the bending here? I need to go back and re-stuff her because it's not like this when I take the stuffing out. So be very careful how you stuff these handbags, okay? Do you see here the indention? It's because nothing is stuffed right there, but there's nothing wrong with the handbag because I took it out the other day and the indention immediately left, okay? And so we are going to go up. I am going to need Lisa again, my ladder. So we can go in details on these up here. Okay, thank you so much, Lisa, for your assistance. But this is the Speedy 25 Bandolier in the beautiful rose ballerine pink. I have used this one time. Um, no specific reason, just haven't got to her yet. And the beautiful Speedy 25 Bandolier in the denim color. Of course, you guys know I love this handbag. I've used her three times, so I think that honestly is pretty good for me, okay? <laughs> so I use her three times. I do have the matching um, mules as well. This is the Speedy 25 from the Crafty Collection. This is the bandolier as well. I do have the straps inside. I haven't used this handbag at all. Um, she is for sale. If you are interested, please contact me. I just... I just was never a fan of this handbag. This is another handbag that I just honestly purchased to do an unboxing. Just one of those things, I'm being honest, one of those. There's no excuse. She was just purchased to do an unboxing, guys. You know what I was going through at that time. I told you guys that. So don't be like me. And my husband, he likes it, but I'm the one to have to use it. And so I, I'm just not a fan. That's it. No excuses. And this is the Speedy 25 Bandolier Black on Prunt Leather. I've used her once. And this is the beautiful Teddy uh, Speedy 20, no, Speedy 30, excuse me, the Speedy 30 Bandolier. I've used her twice. I'm in Houston, Texas. Um, just another purchase because it was cute, guys. That's just it. I love the strap, which is a monogram strap that's preserved inside. She is also for sale as well. And this beauty here, this is the Speedy 30 reverse monogram. And no, she is most definitely not for sale. I love her. Okay. Love it, love it, love it. Not a fan of the size, but I have uh, used her, I will say, twice. She's been in my collection now, I believe, four years now. So... This is my Speedy collection. And like I said, guys, the only handbag that I probably just shouldn't have purchased was the Crafty Speedy 25. And this is her right here. Okay, getting on my ladder because I have to speak on the on the go tote in the PM size. This was another purchase that I actually wanted to try. I was just curious because I do have on-the-go totes in the MM size. And I have one GM that I use today. And so the PM size, in my opinion, is just like the Speedy 25. I most definitely could have passed. I only purchased the Fuchsia because I thought it was such a cute color. And now she's sitting in my collection. I've used her one time. And the on-the-go tote in black, I've used one time as well. I'm just not a big fan of the PM size. That's it. Nothing wrong with them. I just love the bigger handbags in this, you know, specific style. 
my never full collection i also have the loop over here um because of the room i just didn't like that the top part when she was sitting on the shelf was touching the glass and so she's over here chilling just visiting i love this never full this is actually my second favorite never full in my collection this is the 1854 never full but the never full that i don't use and you guys know this let me go up and this is the Dame Azure Neverfull MM. And so she's never been used. And this beauty haven't been used either. This is the Monogram Neverfull MM size. And this beautiful Be Told. I purchased this, what, four years ago? Five years ago? It's been a while. But it's discontinued. She's never been used at all. Sitting here, very beautiful. This is the MM size. And she's just sitting here, okay? <laughs> so this is another handbag I don't use. Okay, so going to my reverse monogram collection, I am going to grab the Palm Springs PM and speak on her just a little bit, guys. I am gonna hang her here, if she can fit. Yeah, I'm gonna hang her here. Um, I don't use this backpack only because I don't like the thick straps in the bag. I used to love using her when I first purchased her, especially for sporting events at my son's games. But as of right now, she has been sitting, I would say about two, two years now. Yeah, two years now. I used to carry her as a tote, but of course these thick straps do get in the way. So this is only probably, let me pull it out, probably only reverse monogram item that i don't use okay and i will not depart from her nothing reverse monogram i will get rid of guys i honestly don't know if this was a vlog <laughs> or a video but it woke me up it really did it woke me up Guys, I have so many handbags in my collection that I haven't used yet. And I don't want this video to be extra, extra long because it's already long. But I would say 95% of my handbags in my collection, I don't use. And I'm only doing this video to warn you guys. Honestly, it's a wake-up call for me as well. Just be mindful of your purchases, okay? Like I said, don't purchase because it's cute. Not because it goes with one outfit in your closet. If you're actually going to use the handbag, then you purchase. At this point, guys, you need to make it a need. Hey, I need that handbag because I can use that for traveling. Like I have the Neverfull GM. I have the YSL Ikari tote. I use that carry-on and I use that bag all the time anyway. So just, just make sure you're actually using the handbags, okay? So I hope this was just not only a video showing some of my collection, but also a very informative video. Like I said, I don't know if it's a vlog. I don't know what to call it, but I am just here to help because I love you guys and I don't want you guys to make the same mistakes. I am now down to 91 handbags. I've sold a few and again, some of my handbags I'm just looking up are still just sitting four and five years. Some untouched, some worn one time, some like the crafty just took out for just to say I did an unboxing. New YouTubers, just pay attention, okay? And like I... It's just so hard to explain, guys. There's so much I want to say. But again, stay safe, stay blessed until Handbag Bestie Friday. Again, I hope you guys are paying attention and understanding what I'm trying to teach you guys about purchasing and being smart. Not counting your coins, not counting your pockets, not trying to be a mom, but I'm trying to be a friend. Love you guys. Stay safe, stay blessed. Let's talk in the comments. Bye-bye.